Hi, my name is Sam Biddle and welcome to my free online class. So in this video, I wanted to show you this really cool look. So this is what we're going to do. We're actually going to do just the eggs, but you can see that we can add an accent nail and have a whole Easter egg look on an accent nail as well. But that's up for you to do. The first thing that you need to do and your old hats at this is do a base. We're going to do a gel polish base and we're going to use white tips, which is the white uh, base color. Now listen, if you guys aren't using gel polish and you want to do this on a hard gel, you can do this on a hard gel as well. But nowadays everybody's using gel polish. Two coats of our white base and then we're ready to go. So we're going to need a range of different pigment colours. Now this is entirely up to you, although I am using a combination of brights and pretties. So this gives me that really spring Easter look. So a lot of people ask me what type of brush I should use for the pigments. Now these are just makeup brushes and to be fair you can get these quite inexpensive. I've used three different types here. I'm going to show you how to use all three of them but you can just use a small makeup brush and that is soft enough for you to apply the pigments into that inhibition or that sticky layer. So let's get on and do this. Now we have throughout this course used this technique. So I won't lie, this is, should be something that you're really familiar with. But I want to actually show you a little, um, something that is really going to hone the eye and really get you to work with this lines and looking at the colours and only working with the colours and not the outline or the background because I know that that is where some of you are just getting a little bit lost. Right, let's get on with this lesson. We're doing Easter eggs. Bear in mind the shape of an Easter egg is an oval. So please make sure that when you apply the three layers or the three rows of colors, it is in an oval shape. So you can see the little round circle at the top there. We're doing the pink. The middle section is yellow. And then we're gonna do a smaller pointed area at the bottom. Obviously, this is pigment, so it's not going to behave itself. So just place your pigment where you want that egg shape to be and make sure that you don't put two colors that are the same next to each other. Trust me, when we outline, everything will fall into place. Keep on going, adding colors. You really want to fill the base of your nail up with maybe four or five eggs, depending on the size, and then just do maybe one floating at the top. We're gonna to do one here with blue. That one is from the Pretty Collection, and this uh, lilac color is also from the Pretty Collection as well. Of course, this is my most favorite green in the world from Brights. So now that we have our pigments down, we need to bring out the paints. We're using four colors, white, green, dark ruby and blue. These are all from the uh, Bold collection. Get your thumb palette and now what you're going to do is you're going to outline each of those eggs. Now I've speeded up this film, I'm not that quick. Be very careful. Look at where your colors are and I want you to crisp up the edges. Now can you see what I did there? I didn't just go round any old egg. I was looking at which egg was in the foreground and which was in the background. So that means that each of those colors are sitting next to each other and that will give me that layered effect. So as you're using the paint, the paint has to be relatively thick. I've not mixed it in with any water at all um, and you need to make sure that each of the egg shape is crisp in other words, I really want you to look at the color combination, look at the layer of the colors and then outline so the eggs become eggs. So now we're going to do some decoration. So I'm going to slow the film back to the normal speed and you're just going to use some of the white to create patterns. So we're going to decorate our eggs. Now I listen, I really need you to look at the colors on the screen right now. So look at this egg here. You can see the color and you can see the egg. What happens is when we outline with the white, we include the white within the design. So what we think is that we need to add pattern to the outline or the white area around the outside of the egg. We are not going to do that. Right now, what I need you to do, I need you to tell your brain that the outline or the white area outside 
of the ring of the egg is no longer part of the design. So when we add our additional colors with paint, then the paint only sits in where the color of the pigment is. Ladies, I hope that makes sense to you. But I'll explain a little bit more as we go. So let's go into the color. Now we need to make sure that the color is a little bit thinner now than it, the white was. And we want to make sure that we're loading our brush, but we only use a small, fine tip of the brush because we want to make thin lines. Now I'm not gonna direct you. Obviously you can copy this film if you want to, but it's entirely up to you. You want to utilize the colors that you have here, but can you see the line that I have placed in is within those white lines. I know I'm laboring the point. Please do understand that it's very important that now the egg and the pattern of the egg is within the white lines that you've put on the outside. <laughs> so now that I've told you about 10 million times, you guys aren't gonna make the mistake and I'm not gonna see these eggs online with lines on the outside of the colors, okay? Okay, so let's get back to it. And you see that I'm not just putting pink on the pink areas. I'm combining, it's color theory has gone right out the window at the moment. It's all about fun, fantastic, bright colors. And we're just gonna combine those colors together. The lines that I'm placing, they're not entirely straight. Look at the white line that I've placed. Can you see that there's a curve to it? This is what gives us that optical illusion that makes that egg round. If we did very straight lines straight across the uh, egg shape, then the egg is going to look flat. So make sure any of the patterns that you apply, uh, those, these thin lines, this pink line, is in the same curvature as the white one that you've put on. And make sure, obviously, that the white one has a little bit of a curve. And that gives us that egg or that bulbous shape that we're after. Anything that goes over those white lines around the outside, I know I'm mentioning them again, but anything that goes around the outside of those white lines, you can always touch up with white. That's the, the wonderful thing about art. So you saw here that I'm using green. Now, did you notice that I actually put some green onto the edge of my hand? What happens with the paint as it gets drier, it gets thicker. I don't want that to be any drier. So if I actually brush off any excess on a paper towel, it actually absorbs the moisture or the water that's in the br uh, bristles. So what I do is I just run it across the side of my palm and that just means that it takes off the excess but it keeps the moisture in. So you can see here there's too much paint on the end of this brush on the point here so I'm just finally moving it around but barely touching it. So now I'm just taking the little extra bit off the tip and when I come in I've got a lot more control over the paint but the paint is still moving because I haven't lost any of the moisture. So really all that's left to do is for you to watch as I continue to decorate my Easter eggs. Um, before I uh, leave you alone for a little while, I just want to point out that we have done this before and we have covered this technique before, but the point of this lesson is to really get to grips with using the very point of your brush. Can you see how little of my brush is actually touching the nail? And to control those lines because these these eggs, they're so small. And I know I've zoomed in very, very close to this, so they look really big, but they're tiny, fine lines. And so what we're doing is we're honing our skills and we're really getting to grips with using our brush. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna tidy up the whole design. We could over uh, top coat over the top of this, but I don't know, this always looks a little bit better. Very carefully use your white gel polish go back over this area here and then you want to just run that brush over the top part of your eggs as well just along those lines of the edges where the eggs uh, the egg lines are the white egg, egg edges are goodness me can't say that with false teeth in um, we're just going to run our brush all the way up the uh, nail and then we're ready to cure and top coat 
So I actually didn't get a chance to leave you alone. I'm so happy that uh, I've been able to show you this particular design because it is one of those looks that look great on a nail and you could get away with this as an accent nail in the salon doesn't take that long to do. But when you see these looks online, you're thinking, oh my goodness, it's gonna take me hours. And now you know with the power of pigments and control of your brush, you can make your nail sing and achieve looks like this in no time at all. Thank you again for being with me in this lesson and I shall speak to you all very soon, no doubt.